check that it says recording. Yes, it is. Does it say recording? Mm -hmm. And do you want me eyes on you or camera? I prefer you post the camera. Okay. okay, you prefer to look at me? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> all right. So today we're very excited to have Eric Van Duza from Ralph Lauren and he's watch and jewelry manager of Hong Kong. So welcome Eric, Woo! welcome Ooh. to the vlog. <laughs> so how long have you lived here in Hong Kong? Uh, just about eight months now. Kowloon side or Hong Kong Island? Over on the island. Weirdest thing about living in Hong Kong? Probably all the street meat and then just randomly turning a corner and seeing like pig intestines in the gutter. That would probably be one of the weirder things. Hong Kong or New York? Um, lived in New York for 10 years, so always up for new experiences, but I'll probably end up back in New York. What time did you wake up this morning? Uh, 5.30. What would you take on a one-way trip to Mars? One-way trip to Mars. I uh, sleeping pills. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you worked for Ralph Lauren? Uh, about three and a half years. How would you describe the brand in three words? Timeless heritage luxury. What's the most badass thing about New York? Most badass thing? I would probably say some of the street performances. What's the most American thing you can think of? Hamburgers. What's your favorite fashion label? Fashion label. I don't know. I have to say Ralph Lauren. Who's your favorite designer? Favorite designer. I don't know. Let's go for Tom Ford with that one. What's your favorite fashion moment of all time? Fashion. Now I'm going to sound like a huge Ralph Lauren nut, but it's probably going to have to be the 40th anniversary runway show in Central Park. It was insane. To give you an idea, it's like they had VIP tables, and then a non-VIP table was Vera Wang. So wow. that's how that's how insane it was. That's cool. What's your favorite swear word? The fuck. Leather or lace? Leather. If you could meet Gianni Versace, what would you ask him? Um, do you wish you had both proof vests? <laughs> the Hamptons or Thailand? I'd probably go for the Hamptons. Best place to shop in New York City? New York City. I like the boutiques in the East Village. What's your favorite thing in the Ralph Lauren store right now? Right now? Uh, there's an alligator wallet I've been eyeing for a while. Who's your favorite Sex in the City character? Sex, gotta go for Samantha. What's the best thing about your job? Best thing? Uh, travel. Uh, so far, I've been to Paris, been to Geneva, Hong Kong now, uh, going to start doing uh, Southeast Asia, so yeah, travel's a good perk. Who was the last person you texted? Uh, my friend Elliot in New York. Movie you cried most in? Oh god. Sophie's Choice. <laughs> Milk chocolate or dark? Milk chocolate. Favorite band? Favorite band. Um, I'm going to have to go back for a little bit of ska and say less than Jake. Wow, interesting. Um, last thing you do before you go to sleep? No, that's not appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best thing that's happened to you this month? Uh, this month? Uh, I don't know, I've been to a trip to Cambodia. Uh, climbing on the tr temples was pretty cool. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? To fly. Vintage or new? Vintage. Favorite area in New York City? Uh, probably go for Williamsburg. Best thing about Hong Kong? Best thing? The outdoors. Got days like this, can go to the beach, go hiking, went to a secret waterfall last Sunday, so it's fun. Where's well, good to get a coffee here? Nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Even chains, I mean, <laughs> like, they always mess up your ore. It's never strong, it's watered down, it's burned. It's, <laughs> there's no good coffee in Hong Kong. <laughs> Officially by Eric Van Duza. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Favorite action hero? Captain America. Most refreshing beverage? I really like 7 Up with a splash of pineapple juice. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> 
Last country you visited? Uh, Cambodia. Best thing about living in Asia? Uh, travel opportunities. Everything's close. Worst thing about living in Asia? I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, let's just say people bumping into you in the MTR. Best thing about working in fashion? Uh, it's never dull. Always something new, always some sort of new invention, new trends to pay attention to, avoid. Always something new. Diamonds or pearls? Diamonds. Who's your fashion idol? Fashion idol. Um, with that, it's going to have to... Even though it's a girl, I'm going to say Gwen Stefani. Good answer. I love Gwen. <laughs> <laughs> Very timeless, except with a little bit of punk rock attitude, which I like. <laughs> which male movie star's wardrobe would you like to steal? Movie stars? Hmm. Let's go with Brad Pitt with that one. How do you describe Hong Kong in three words? Uh, unexpected. Polluted. Um, Metropolis. What's your favorite song of all time? Favorite song of all time. Let's say uh, Keep Their Shoes On by uh, Scissor Sisters. <laughs> Scissor Sisters. Now there's a band I haven't thought of for a while. Um, books that inspired you the most? Uh, there's a book called uh, God is Dead by Ron Carey Jr. It's, uh, it talks about if there was physical evidence of God's existence and then God died and then it's the human reaction to the knowing that there was a God, but he's dead now. <laughs> and on that note, taxis or tram? <laughs> uh, go for the tram. Dim sum or fish balls? Uh, dim sum. Favorite Broadway show of all time? Oh, with that I'll say Rent. That was my inspiration for moving to New York. Looking for that sense of community. <laughs> yeah. Blonde or dark? Uh, dark. What's your biggest turn on? Uh, has to, sort of has to be tattoos. How often do you wear a suit? Every day to work. Levi's or diesel? Uh, Levi's. What's the biggest learning experience of your life? Biggest learning experience of my life? Yeah, so many. Um, know that with every setback I have a saying that rejection is God's protection so that means like if you see someone at the bar you sort of like uh, but they reject you just for protection so it means they probably had herpes <laughs> what are you most excited about in your life right now right now just for the first time I feel like there's so much opportunity and really looking forward to like the next chapters in my life how many pairs of shoes do you own? Yeah, probably close to 25, 30. Wow, maybe that's more than me. <laughs> <laughs> and I downsized moving to Hong Kong. Wow. iPhone or Samsung? iPhone. What's your favorite TV show of all time? I don't know, sort of right now, the TV show I've been obsessed with is Game of Thrones. What are you, ah, okay, so what are you watching right now? Oh, huh? Game of Thrones. What book are you reading? Um. The Gold Finch by Donna Tartt. If you could have coffee with one historical figure, who would it be? Historical figure. Uh, let's say Alexander the Great. Kittens or puppies? Puppies. How do you like your coffee? Um, I like my coffee how I like my men. <laughs> Strong and sweet. <laughs> Dark and black. Yeah, <laughs> that too. <laughs> um, What's your favorite color? Uh, blue. Least favorite color? Black. Blow dry or air dry? Blow dry. What's the weirdest word in the English language? Uh, anti disestablishmentarianism Black or white? Uh, white. Tie or pocket square? Uh, pocket square. Sexiest actor? Sexiest actor. Oh, uh, yeah, what's his name? Colin Farrow. How many watches do you own? Um, two. Cheap, shampoo, or expensive? Expensive. 
if you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Uh, gotta go with me and potatoes. Give me a good steak. <laughs> Rabbit or guinea pig? Um, well, they're both smelly, so let's say <laughs> guinea pig. <laughs> Is this the weirdest interview you've ever had? Uh, could be, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Woo. Thank you, Eric. Thank you. <laughs> okay, cut. <laughs>